today I want us to really answer the question, what are we made of? Mm. You don't like the explanation that we're forged in the heart of dying stars spewed out by supernova explosions? Obviously, we are. And you ask, well, where do the atoms come from? And they formed early in the universe and then heavier and heavier nuclei, like more and more elements were formed by stars, smashing them together in their cores and then dying and exploding. And all of their guts coalesce into new stars and planets and people. So we're made of stars, mostly. My knockdown point is boron and beryllium. They are made by cosmic ray spallation. (laughs) I beg your pardon. Cosmic rays often come from stars. When these hit other atoms, they can cause that atom to explode. They can cause things like neutrons to fly around, and then those things fall into other atoms. And that is how beryllium and boron get made. Hang on. Right. How much boron and beryllium is there in the human body, though? 35 micrograms of beryllium. Okay. And every day you drink about between 0.2 and 0.6 milligrams of boron in your drinking water. You're really adding to this pedantic thing here. Like, okay, by, you have to say by stars, but because 0.35 micrograms of beryllium is in your body. We said, what are you made of? Not what is most of you made of? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should start off talking about what cosmic rays are. I mean, you describe them as star puke, <laughs> which I think is, I mean, frankly, that's all we need, isn't it? There are, you know, dying stars that explode into supernovae. There are sort of stars that are tearing themselves apart in these explosions that are so big that they can outshine actual galaxies. We also have, like, black holes smashing into one another. You've got, like, actual galaxies smashing into each other. It's all sorts of stuff that is throwing debris all over the place across space. And that debris are the cosmic rays. It could even be that human evolution was affected by cosmic rays, right? They're ionizing. They can affect our DNA. Right. Who's to say that in the course of our species history, we didn't get a little helpful mutation from a cosmic ray? So then we are made by stars. By stars, Mm. not of. (laughs) You're absolutely right, Michael. Not pedantic at all. (laughs) So can we say we're star puke? We can and should. You are a bunch of star puke. Just our stars just ralphed you into existence like a hairball, and I'm glad you're here. Not pedantic at all. (laughs) 